What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to Flutter 2.0. So this is going to be using the Travel Treasury app. And I already did kind of go through this on my own in a different on a different branch of this project. So I am already on Flutter 2.0, but I want to show you what the Flutter Doctor, if you run the Flutter Doctor command, this is what it looked like earlier before I did any work on the Flutter 2.0 upgrade. So I was on Flutter version 1.20.3, so I'm going to kind of go through this how I would have done it starting from the beginning. And the first thing you do is just run Flutter Upgrade. And this is what will actually get you up to Flutter 2.0. All right, great. So at this point, I am technically on Flutter version 2. If you type Flutter dash dash version or even Flutter Doctor, either one will do it. You can see I'm on Flutter 2.0.5. If I try and run the app, though, it doesn't actually work. It's going to crash on us here. All right, so after the initial run, you can see there's quite a few errors here. So these warnings here are all talking about the target iOS deployment version is at 8.0 and it needs to be between 9.0 and 14. So I found this Stack Overflow post and this actually took me quite a while to find and get this to work and get these errors to go away. But hopefully this saves you some time. Really, we just need to add this to our iOS pod file. There are a few things to do though. So if we go into our iOS folder here and then find the pod file. All right, and now that that's added there, we're not actually gonna use 9.0, we're gonna use 10.2. So the new, the new minimum deployment target for the Travel Treasury app that I'm building is going to be version 10.2 of iOS. So go ahead and save that. Now, if you read through this a little bit more, we also need to update it in the iOS Flutter app framework info.plist. So find that right here. And you should see that the minimum OS version is at eight here. This we're going to change to 10.2 and save that. And then we also need to update the platform in the iOS pod file. So that's back in this file that we started in. And you can see it is uncommented here, but we want this to be 10.2 as well. So you're gonna save that. And we want to run this command, which is going to perform a flutter clean. It's also going to remove the pod file dot lock and remove the these other a few of these other files and then rebuild them. So it's gonna just completely reset all of the files. We can just go ahead and paste this command right in our terminal here. All right, and then once that's run, we are actually gonna run the app again. All right, you can see we are getting an error here, and if you go back into the pod file, it's basically complaining because we have two post install here. We have two post install blocks here. So we already have this code right here. So after the Flutter additional iOS builder settings, we're just going to copy these two lines and basically combine these two. Uh, now we can save that and run it again. And now that and now that error we had earlier with the iOS target version is gone. So if you start looking through what these errors are actually saying, a lot of them are talking about the depreciated versions of our of our actual packages that we have installed under pubspec.yaml. So you open up pubspec.yaml a lot of them are very outdated now and their versions are no longer compatible with Flutter 2. So we need to upgrade essentially all the packages to the versions that support Flutter 2.0. So you can use this pub outdated command here and I'll tell you the packages you have that are outdated and the new versions that you can upgrade to. For whatever reason, this doesn't seem to want to load for me right now, but essentially it normally gives you a table of the version you're currently on and the most recent version. You can also just take the each go through each of the packages you have here and go ahead and search them within pub.dev. You can see what the newest version is from the change log here. And if you go through it a bit, you're probably going to find a big version change where it goes up to null safety, which is essentially kind of goes hand in hand with Flutter 2.0. So this is really I'm just going to go ahead and use the newest one of all of these. Go ahead and upgrade all of these now. And then if you wanna look at them in the code, you can see the new versions I'm using that'll all be linked down below. 
All right, so these are all up to date now. One thing I do want to point out is I no longer am going to have Firebase AdMob or Flare Flutter. Both of those were things I used in the past. Actually, currently the version of the app right now is using Firebase AdMob. Within this, I'm going to remove all those references and in another video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to use this new AdMob version of Flutter that works with Flutter 2.0. Once you have these all updated, you're going to want to run the pub get. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and try and run the app again. All right, so you can see we do, we have this error here about no profiles for this. So we need to open this up in Xcode, which I have pulled up over here. First thing we're going to want to do and make sure that we get done is if we go to the runner under the projects here, we do want to make sure that iOS deployment target is 10.2. That was set to 8.0 still for me, so I did just update that. Or right, then you go to the runner down here and go to signings and capabilities, and you just want to make sure you're logged in here, which I am, so that's all good. We can now go back in here and just try running the app again. All right, so as I briefly mentioned before that I want to remove all of the Firebase AdMob, which I haven't quite done yet. You can see I'm getting some errors with that itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of that stuff now. All these ads are in the, with throughout the app really, but uh, you can see where I have these set up. So I'm gonna remove these and you, if you were following along and you set your ads up similar to how I did, then you should do that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove those from all these files now. All right, so I removed the banner ad references throughout the app. Another error that I have is with this Apple sign-in button. So the reason for this, I actually have two different packages that have that Apple sign-in button class. And the two of those are the Flutter auth buttons as well as just the Apple sign in package itself. So on the Flutter auth buttons, we're going to add an as auth buttons. And what this is going to allow us to do is reference this specific package within the code so that it knows which Apple sign in button to use. So we can set that to auth buttons there and we'll bring this style. We'll set it to the auth buttons style of black. Uh, you'll see we also need to add that auth buttons to the Google sign-in button and really any other reference we use to this package will need to be prefaced with this auth buttons. But we can save that. You'll notice now there are no errors in flagged over here on any of the files, so that's a good sign. That should fix up hopefully all of these that were here. So let's go ahead and try and run the app one more time. All right, and there you have it. The app is running and it's back to how it used to be. So you can see we have 50 here to just do a quick test. We can put another 50 and saved and now it goes up to 100. So generally the whole app will be should be working as it used to be. If you're noticing any issues in your app that you didn't see before the upgrade, you can go on over to the Discord server and we can talk about those more in depth there or you can comment down below. But that is generally it. We are on Flutter 2.0 now and the app is running. One last thing I would like to point out are the buttons mainly are code that get depreciated with this. If you go to the Dart analysis here, you're going to see all of this depreciated warnings really. So they still work with Flutter 2.0, but you are gonna to wanna to upgrade all these. So if you look, flat button is no longer used. Flat button has now been replaced with text button as well as raise button is no longer used as raise button. It is now going to be called an elevated button and they are slightly different. I found this good document on migrating these and I'll link this down below, but this is essentially the document and I believe it was put out by the Flutter team, but it goes in depth of how you can change the buttons from your, from your flat buttons to your text buttons and what that means with with different styles, but it's relatively simple to do. Most of these are actually, if you notice, all button related. There are a few other things that are depreciated, but overall, the main thing for my app was just changing those buttons out. So that code will also be on the GitHub branch with the updates, so if you wanna look at it there, you can. I'm not going to record it. That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like the video if you liked the video, and hopefully I will be seeing some of you guys in that Discord server. Looking forward to getting that to be a little bit more active.